Okay, I'm going to put him at number nine for the worst of the worst stand-up comedians. Wow, did this guy suck. Sam Screech Lord. His name should be Screech. Um, I had once heard that that was an impression, like an like a an impression of a... His original act was, what's the worst noise in the world? And then it was those hydraulic um, machines in garages. You know when they're trying to take your tire off? <coughs> Boy, that is a horrific sound. I heard that was originally the, the gimmick, was that he, was, he could do an impression of a of a garage, of a shop, of a shop drill. Is that hydraulic? I'm saying hydraulic. Air, air supply. Holy shit. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I can't remember the names of things anymore. Uh, so that's what that was. It was originally, here's my impression of the worst noise, a drill in a mechanic's shop like this and then he turned it into a scream so he's on the worst list for just one horrific gimmick okay which was screaming and if you ever have to listen to his horrific act there really is no punchlines. it's uh i was married i got divorced you know what i think of women <laughs> does this uh hydraulic uh, drill noise anyway um gimmick act what kinnison is also on here uh for okay so he's got no punch lines he's a one gimmick act which is screeching uh he really has only one theme which is women suck fuck women ah, 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 screeching at people um he was also an asshole so he goes on the list too for just being a horrible person. Uh, this motherfucker. Listen, I don't even need to get into people's personal lives like this type of thing. But I, this, it's too many stories about this fucker. Uh, dies the guy that's trying to hold him while he's dying. Finds out that Sam Kinison was fucking the stripper and, uh, sorry, the the man's wife and uh doesn't tell him he raises sam kinnison's baby what an fucking asshole um too many too many verifiable stories things like shitting on people's bed uh other comedians a bully a clout bully i don't even know why this guy got all of the attention he was a force of nature i don't know what's that all about by the way i'm also putting him on this list for like normally you'd admire someone that's born with a deformity okay like not even say admire but you know you you don't you go okay you know that like this person is born with dwarfism or you know they have some kind of facial deformity so you know i think if you're a normal person you go okay i kind of expect you know i i even respect them for going on stage you know but what the fuck was wrong what is with his body i've never seen a human being in that shape I don't even think I don't think it's a deformity. I think what it is is he's a 120 pound man with 300 pounds of body fat on him. I mean, fucking take care of yourself a little bit, okay? A little. Okay, you don't have to come in looking ripped like you're in a, a health contest, but for fuck's sakes, jeez, that dis what a dis how dare you make people look at that body? How dare you go on there and make people look at that? Uh, he gets on the worst list for the fucking the worst costume ever. What is he doing? He dresses like a woman wearing drapery uh, with a fucking... Uh, oh God, I don't even want to look at that. man. You know what? He's on the list too just because you have to look at him. If I have to look at him and look at his visage, his appearance, okay? It's that bad. Um, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, he's a uh, he's a junky drug self pleasuring drug abuser. So that that's that's great. Yeah, he uh, that's how 
uh, he was interested in the audience uh, as he'd get himself super high on drugs and then go and bully people. So he's also on the list for this. But actually, as far as the stand-up comedy goes, it's pretty bad. It is no punchlines. I hate women. Ah, 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 ah. I'm screaming. Look at me scream. Ah. You killed my heart. Ah, ah. And he screams. And uh, I'm sure that he was lovely to women, by the way. I wonder if he uh, shat on their beds to teach them a lesson from something that he was high about. Uh, what else is Kinnison on this list for? He's, I think he might also be on the, uh, what did I have? The, I had the uh, Reddit uh, teen atheist edgelord. Uh, 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 stupid, stupid things about um, the church or religion or some uh, stupid atheist thing. Uh, people tell me he wasn't an atheist anyway, but uh, uh, just... Uh, Edge Lord things. Oh yeah, by the way, he would he'd wear heavy metal, uh, '80s heavy metal uh, scarves and hats and uh, fucking uh, neck bracelet or whatever those things were. You know, like a, I'm a punk heavy metal crazy guy that screams. Oh, well, that's fantastic! Great. Well, uh, you're you're stupid, is what you are. Uh, so that was Sam Kinison. Sam uh, Screech, Screech Kinnison, uh, stupid fuckhead. Uh, so he's numbered, I'm gonna put him at number nine. Him, well, high, highly overrated, by the way. That, I should say that was one, of, that's the main reason he's on here. He is highly overrated, as if he was some goddamn fucking force of nature, amazing creature that changed the world of comedy and something something. And he was a gimmick act uh, a hack gimmick junkie does he have a mitigating factor yes actually i will i will say kinnison sam kinnison had something that he, it's actually kind of a little rare to see uh, a lot of comedians have contempt for their audience uh they are they do see it like a boxing match there versus the audience you know they even use terms like i killed the audience you know uh, they're in the but Kinnison had actually something. Uh, I see Cosby had this, and Kinnison had it too, which is I'm gonna call a natural affinity. Uh, when Kinnison came out, as immediately without needing an introduction or warm up, Kinnison was one of you. He would he was engaged with people very well, uh, as if he was just one of you speaking with his friends, with people he already knew, and you knew him. So I would, I'll give credit where credit's due, you know, that maybe that's, a, but it's not much of a mitigating factor compared to all the uh, bullshit that, so Sam Kinison, uh, go fuck off and stop screaming. Thank God. I mean, that guy died early, which saved a lot of eardrums and what would have been a lot of stupid hack comedy. And he wouldn't have had anything else, by the way. I don't, nobody needs to be saying, oh, well, what if Sam Kinison lived? Well, nothing. His, his screeching gimmick act would have died out before the end of the 80s, and then he would have just been forgotten as an annoyance.